Dang it. We've got the valves in and we've got the studs installed that are going to hold the cam box and the camshafts on top of the cylinder head. And you really need to do this first because it's kind of a pain in the neck to do this after the fact because these stud, studs tend to fit fairly closely in the holes and if there's any kind of misalignment, it makes it kind of, kind of difficult so, to get them started initially. And you don't want to cross thread these studs. So we are at the point right now where we need to prepare the cam box to go on the top of the cylinder head. Also what we're going to do is prep this surface right here because there is no gasket in between the cam box and the cylinder head. It's all on this surface right here and the finally machined surface on the bottom of the cam box. And what we're going to do is we're going to, in between, use a product called Hylomar, which is kind of difficult to see what the tube actually looks like when it's folded up like that, but there you go. Tylomar. And what Hylomar is is a non-setting gasket dressing, or it actually, in this case, serves as a sealer itself to, uh, to seal the joint in between the cam box and the head. Now what you want to do to prep this surface is to make sure that there are no burrs on the surface and the way that I do that is to take a precision file and not actually cut the surface, just kind of go around the surface and, and see if there are any burrs that have been raised and if they're there then just you know take the file and just give it a little, I'm not going to do much because this has been cleaned up, ready to ready to assemble, do a final assembly. But do that all the way around. The problem with this set of heads was the fact that the person that had done this last time, the boxes had been off of it, used a hard setting Permatex, which sets up hard and eventually through expansion and contraction it cracks and it leaks. These heads were from here on down, these things were black. So not a good choice. You do the same thing to the cam box here. And again, you're not cutting the surface. You just go along here until you feel some kind of, if you feel some kind of a restriction or a obstruction, that is a burr that you need to file off. Do the same thing on this side because this is where the cam cover fits. And it's good, 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 good. Oop. A little bit there. And the thing is, as you're working with these things, I don't care how, how careful you... Oh, there's a big one. I don't know if you can see that, but right there. Really big one right there. As you're working with these things and you're moving them around, and in fact, this burr right here, uh, I was going to say that it was uh, generated by... Well, probably because the cylinder head bolt is right there. That's why that notch is cut out. As you're working with these things, things can actually can actually fall against it and get damaged. So you keep doing this. I'm not keeping it flat down against the surface. I'm picking it up a little bit because I want to actually just remove that burr because right here, that's the surface that the, uh, that the saddle, the bearing saddle for the camshaft fits. You don't want to upset that. So, boy, that was a bad one. Now that would have been an issue with the cam cover gasket leaking because the cam cover would not have been able to fit down fully. Okay, that's good. Another one here. And that's that's going to be good. Now before we put this cam box on the engine, we're going to take and blow it off with compressed air to make sure that all the filings that we just generated don't contaminate the engine. The next step is to seal the cam box. Well, this is our cam box. The tappets fit inside of here, and they push on the tops of the valves. And if we want to get really illustrative here, camshaft fits on top like this, rotates around, oop, don't want to turn that, didn't like that sound. 
and as they turn around, these cam lobes bump the valves open. Okay, what we have to do at this point is to seal the joint between the cam box and the cylinder head. And that's a pretty simple thing. We just turn it over and you make sure that it's all deburred along the bottom and it's clean and it's ready to go on the engine. Then what you do is you take your tube of Hylomar and cut off the very end of it here so that it extrudes a really, really narrow ribbon. And then what we're going to do is just simply go around like this. And it doesn't take a whole lot. And I go all the way around these bolts. And the thing is, you want enough on it to seal, but you don't want so much that it extrudes a ton of squeeze out on the inside. If it squeezes out on the outside, you can just clean it off. Squeezes out on the inside, it can generate problems if it breaks off and goes down and plugs the uh, plugs the opening or the pickup for the oil pump. Now what we can do at this point, <clears throat> or what we should do according to the directions on the tube, is to let this stuff sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour, so that the, uh, the solvents come off of it. It's pretty thin right at this point. If we were to go ahead and uh, install it on the engine, uh, there would be a tendency for a lot of this stuff to just squeeze out. So and what I tend to do is go around the edge and if possible, if it's real close to the edge, push it in. Leave a little bit of a film there. And there are those that would say that this is too much, don't need that much. Well, I tend to err on the side of it not leaking. So. And uh, there are also those that would say that you don't really need to go around these holes because these are the bolts that, uh, that are inside of the cam box. All right. But again, I don't see that it hurts anything. What you don't want to have is squeeze out to get into the the bores of the um, of the tap. It's okay. Here we have an issue. Going to want a little more in here, perhaps. And that looks like we have a continuous bead all the way around. So what we're going to do at this point, cap off our tube of Hylomar with a little bit of a finishing nail there. And we're going to let this stuff sit for about a half hour. And then we're going to put it on, hold her down. Well, it's been about 30 minutes since we put the Hylomar on the bottom of the cam box. I'm going to set this aside just for a moment and take the compressed air line. Give it a final spritz. And then take the cam box and slide it on. And take your time. 
because it's easy to get it jammed like I just did. And there we go. Okay, so here are the remaining engine studs that need to go in, or nuts and bolts. We've got the nuts here that go on the bottom, which is actually the top, the way I've got it oriented here. And also we've got these socket head cap screws that go inside of the cam box and where the oil is. So what we need to do here, we don't want this to come loose. We want this to seal. And we're not going to, these only require about 10 foot pounds of torque. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Loctite on all of these to make sure that once we got them tightened, they don't come loose again. Now, we've got two studs that go next to each import intake port, and I wouldn't install them at this point because they only get in the way. To give you a little insight as to how you can install or, or um, remove studs without any particular specialized tools, you just take a couple of nuts, spin one on the stud, Take another one, thread it down on top of it, take two wrenches, and seize them together like that. And then you can then use the nuts to turn the stud in all the way down. You could use a vice grip on the shank, and there's a couple other ways that you could do it. But this way will not damage the stud. So there you go. At this point, we've got the cam box bolted down, torqued in place, and you can see along this edge right here, I believe the light's good enough where you can see a little bit of squeeze out, and this is all the way around the head, and that's what I like to see because, and if it's unbroken, that means that it's sealed pretty much all the way around. You don't see much here because you're gonna have to bolt the cam cover on in order to, in order to get that tightened up too. And it's going to be a few days before we do that, and it's not a big deal because this stuff, as I said earlier, it really doesn't set. So uh, you could pull this apart five years from now, and this stuff would still be kind of gummy and pliable and relatively easy to clean off.